Today I am going to show you the new version of my car rental project. Uh, I basically had posted uh, last time a new uh, project that is basically made in PHP. Uh, sorry, Python Django. Uh, that project is also available in uh, PHP as well with some new functionalities. If you are looking for that project in PHP and .NET, you can come to me. Uh, I have the uh, I have the car rental project in uh, all the three technologies. So this is uh, the new version of uh, car rental project uh, and this is basically the bike rental system. So here we will uh, use bikes as our product. So as you can see I am, sure I am using the same uh, theme for this project as well as I used in my car rental project. So this is basically developed in ASP.NET MVC and uh, Entity Framework. So let's start about the functionality of the project. So this is the home page of the project and uh, second one is the bikes. So the bikes contains all the bikes related to uh, our different different companies. So these are the Bajaj bike, Hero bike, Honda bike, TVS bike, KTM bike, there are so many bikes. Okay, so uh, I will show you by adding more categories and the uh, uh, bikes. This is about us, contact us, all those things are same, so just like uh, we did in our car rental. So this is the registration page and this is the login page. So login page is common for all those things. Admin, admin, let's enter. And uh, let's see the database uh, I used in this project is SQL Server. So this is the database that I am using here by rental. These are the tables that I am uh, using in this project. So this is the admin dashboard that is almost similar to my previous project. So here you can see that uh, we are using three registered user there are five companies seven bike variants uh, four bikes and uh, there are new bookings three so basically uh, this is related to what this is the number of user registered in our website this is the companies of which i we have the bikes basically the categories you can say we have categorized the bikes this is the bike variant let's suppose we have hero honda so there are n number of bikes of hero honda Okay, Hero is the company and let's suppose we are talking about Splendor. Uh, so that uh, is uh, the brand. Uh, so these are the things. Let's uh, understand with the help of example. And uh, this is bikes, the physical bikes are there. Let's start with the companies. Uh, I am going to use Royal Infield. Infield. Royal Infield. Set. Save category. You can see we can add it the name uh, let's suppose uh, Royal Infield Bikes okay so let's see motorcycles latest bikes uh, accept it so these are the variants that are available for Royal Infields okay the classic 350 okay so let's click on it we need a photograph actually oh my god there are so many photographs okay uh, i think we should uh, uh, open images royal infield classic 350 and uh, here is the classic 350 bike let's save it and uh, i am going to save it here and uh, on my project uh, i will add this royal infield let's check the spelling a n f i e l d right let's suppose i want to update the spelling e n f f i e l d royal infield and let's update so you can see we have updated okay. if i want to delete we can and uh, but uh, i'm basically going to show you this so let's add it and a bike variant so here we can add a number of bikes okay so let's add this photo okay and uh, the bike name is royal infield classic 350 
and the company is Royal Enfield price per day is 200 rupees per day let's save the variant fine we have saved this uh, image you can see or uh, if I want to add a few more so let's suppose I want to add this meter meter M E meter 350 okay fine so here is meter let's save image as and uh, i am so r o o r dot jpg and uh, let's go to our project add this photo as well royal in field m e t e o r okay and uh, the company is royal enfield it is 250 rupees and save variant fine so we are able to see that uh, we have uh, a number of bikes so let's add some bikes here these are the physical bikes now we have to provide the bike number like that okay let's suppose i want to add classic 350 we have bike number hr 12 x 1234 and uh, the model is 2021 let's save the bike and uh, i'm going to add one new bike up uh, 23x 2323 and the model is 2021 let's save the bike and uh, one more bike from here and uh, ap 43A1234 and the model is 2022. Abhi, 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 21. Fine. So, here we have a, a number of bikes. We can add it any details. Uh, if I want to update the number 2022 or let's suppose I want to update the model, we can update. So, this is what we have done. And uh, here we have bikes. Now, let's uh, all other things are customer we have three customers we have bookings uh, we can see the details of the bookings and uh, we have feedbacks that uh, our customer will do and here is the payment that we will receive okay let's go one by one we will verify again and let's register it so here is ajay kumar ajay at the rate gmail.com anand anand phone number gender noida and here is driving license a b c d x one two three four five fine so we have registered ajay kumar is now registered user now we can go to bikes here you can see we have very nice bikes okay basically we have to show this bike uh, at the top right so in our customer controller home controller we have a product page fine so in the product page we basically have listed all those bikes and uh, variants companies there is the variants and the dot order by descending x x dot uh, id not id uh, I think the variant ID VID and uh, let's update this change and reload the page now you can see this is now uh, somewhat practical uh, if we can see that uh, we have Royal Enfield bikes there are two Royal Enfield bikes the Meteor and the Classic 350 okay we should not add uh, Royal Enfield before it right because uh, the name of the company is displaying here so we can consider in the later uh, time so here is bajaj bike here is hero bike hero splendor plus xf r i don't know honda honda city we can say no honda city is the bike not it's a car tvs apache ktm and royal enfield here is our bike so this is uh, how we basically create the bikes now we will select this royal enfield meter and we can see now let's see uh, i want to 
reserve this bike for two days and uh, test drive okay and you can see there are 500 let's say i provide 300 in the advance booking so this is my card number this is not my card number dummy number anand singh and two three five whatever expiry date and let's book now if you can see book is uh, booking has been done and uh, you have option to cancel the booking as well let's say oh, let's suppose i want to show you the cancelling of the book booking let's suppose uh, testing amount is uh, 100 okay 60 rupees let's say 40 rupees and uh, test name and uh, expiry date and uh, save let's say i want to cancel this booking i can and booking cancelled okay the message can be updated that your amount will be refunded within two or three hour two or three days that will be much better for us so this is cancelled now we can cancel all those booking uh, that has not been confirmed from the admin site so let's confirm it from the admin site admin and admin and you can see the booking number has increased companies increased bike variant increased bikes increased and uh, if you can see the bikes we can see the status that are available bikes and uh, let's go to booking and uh, if i can see here is the details as you can see now we have the cancellation option here as well so let's suppose the bikes are not available we can cancel the booking as well so here is we are selecting all those bikes that are of uh, all those bikes will be listed here uh, that contains uh, uh, meter okay so we have only one meter bike let's confirmed booking has been confirmed now and you can see fine so booking has been confirmed the bike number has been granted to it so uh, basically we have all to so we also need to show the driving license detail as well no issues uh, we have this one we can see the password of mr ajay look this is the new feature that i introduced here that's why these two persons don't have any license number so the new feature i have added recently so this is the booking section so booking has been done and uh, if you are going towards bike then you can see that this bike is not available right now so if uh, any other uh, uh, booking is uh, uh, coming for this particular model because as we don't have such kind of bike then this bike will not be displayed in the list okay so and also there is a filter uh, if i want to see the available and not available bikes i can or bikes fine so this is the way how we basically go through the filters and feedback uh, we will provide the feedback after the last okay this also needs to be corrected report section report section from the admin part we can uh, hmm, fine dot order by descending xx dot id okay okay payment id fine let's save it and reload it here so that must be displayed at the top fine so this is what we have done let's log out and uh, go to our login page and uh, ajay at the rate gmail.com password and uh, you can see here i have developed the profile page as well where you can see the detail of the customer who has logged in and uh, the details are displayed here my booking i can see now booking has been confirmed so detail but, uh, button is available once you go to the detail section you can see that 200 rupees is balanced from your side so just make the payment okay name on card okay and this is here is the feedback option 
so let's suppose the bike was very good to drive i like it fine so i am giving five star rate okay five star and make the payment now payment made all the details is now available and let's log out and uh, let's see what happens to the admin panel admin anand okay admin admin okay that was the validation and uh, let's suppose uh, i want to see the feedbacks i can see the feedback that also needs to be corrected because uh, uh, that must be displayed at top okay no issues we can do in the same way that i have done earlier so this is the payment payment has been done the confirmations have been done one more thing that i want to show you that uh, one more validation is there that uh, if uh, ajay is already registered the same email id cannot be used okay let's see how we can test it so more, i know that uh, what will happen so ajay at the rate gmail.com whatever let's see okay so i have corrected this issue as well uh, last time the issue was not fixed uh, at my end so this time i have fixed this issue as well so this is the whole working of the project uh, if you see uh, that uh, this project was developed in asp.net and entity framework core okay if you take the project you just need to uh, configure the connection string that is available here as you can see here is the connection string that you need to update the data source name only and then you will be able to run this project so this is the whole project uh, if you like this project if you are looking for this source code or some modification to be done in this project and after modification you like this project then you can connect to me i will update all those changes and this project is available right now in dotnet if you are looking for this project in some other technology you can connect to me uh, i will provide the project within 2 days uh, basically so you can connect to me if you are in hurry and you need project to be ready within one or two days just share me the requirement i will develop the project for you okay so you can go to my channel you will not find any negative comment on my channel so uh, you must be sure that uh, there is no chance of uh, uh, you can say deceive or fraud so and uh, thanks for uh, coming to my channel and uh, uh, i will come with my new project very soon till then wait and watch my new projects thank you very much